Hey guys, what's going on, JK, and welcome back to another episode of the RTG Technically. Now, you might be wondering why this random thing's on your screen is, uh, it's because I want to upgrade some stuff in my setup, and I want to be able to stream without needing the headset and stuff. So, what do you think on this, and also, all my controllers are broke, so what do you think on this? Uh, combined total of about 80 quid, not too bad, I think I'm going to invest in it pretty soon, so I think that's the plan. And then, um, yeah, sorry about that little interruption. Let's get straight into the video. Also, I just put that there because I needed a bit of an intro so I could talk to you and just introduce the video without getting chucked straight in to my rivals gameplay because I needed five more wins. And we pl only played six games yesterday. One of them we did play on stream because we did the max 87 rated hero pack and got the best player possible, Tim Cahill. And to be fair, you if you watch the VOD on Twitch, Jake Kybird Foot, you will see that I was like, fuck's sake it's kale he's like the worst one but he's a usable center mid and he wasn't even that terrible at striker he got a goal and an assist in a laggy game that i played so you can't say he was that bad uh but yeah first game well second game technically because the first one i think we just um only had one goal from it and then the match stats and um yeah this was the second game we won that one 2-0 and got a rage quit Second game against Sun. Can't remember for the life of me who this guy was. But we get the build-up play here. Park Ji Sung laying off to Banaka. Banaka going to ball roll. Get to the byline. Could it pack to Mr. Park Ji Sung. El Capitan. Who gets the goal that allows us to go 1-0 up. What the hell? We were 1-0 up. What are you on about? Oh no, different game. Sorry, sorry. So that was the third game. Um, This one must be the fourth game. Yes, this one is the fourth game. Ball in. Glitch corner. Sandro Tonali, the passion merchant, the vice captain, getting the goal. Oh, wait, what? Tonali's just scored? Oh, you know what this means, boys. We have a full 44 seconds of gameplay to watch. So this guy comes at me from kickoff. He was just trying to do this all game, run to the byline and cut it back. He has no one in the box, so I knew he was going to shoot. We get the block with Kalidou Kula Bali. Destroys Aguero and Bali. I don't know why I booted that out there. That was a mistake from me. Should have taken advantage of it, but chooses to shoot instead, which allows me to play out from the back. Ball into Kula Bali, into Park Ji Sung, out wide to the pie, back into Park Ji Sung. We're already on the attack. We're just going to run into the space. Through ball, wrong side of Muriel, but I'm not too first. But then we get the ball away. So I should have taken my time a bit more there, but then he makes a mistake. Ball out from the back, and Park Ji Sung intercepts and scores. Park Ji Sung, in that centre mid role, the, his new position, as well as Banaka, both get goals, to be fair. But yeah, Park Ji Sung down the line to Memphis Depay. Depay, he decides to play it inside to Muriel, lays it off to Banaka. Banaka plays it back to Muriel, he's got space, he just runs into the space. He shoots, he scores. Wait, what is that? Another uncut clip, another 44 seconds of gameplay. Well, aren't you lucky? And here comes our new signing, Becker, off the bench. His second appearance for the club. I would love to get him into the team, like, starting. Uh, but it's not really possible. So, yeah, Becker takes kick off. I wanted to use this guy a little bit. I knew I had a 3 nil advantage, so I wanted to get some gameplay with him. Dribbling felt okay. Pace was insane. We did a rainbow flick. One touchdown. Shows the pace. Then a Travella shot, and he scores. And this guy decides, you know what? Gritty with Becker, I've had enough, gone. So he then rage quits, and that is the fourth win of the day. And now, we are in Div 6, I believe. At least I think this was the Div 6 game, I'm pretty sure it was. And then we had one more win that we needed for the day. And we were already Div 6, so I was like, if we take a loss here, I won't be too fussed. Because we can just go back and get it again. I personally think I can get to Div 5, Div 4 with this team, without even getting any upgrades or anything. So, it's not too bad. By the way, for the hero pack, we sent um, Marquinhos, Komen, and spent like 30k. So I might have to get that back with my Bergvine once he gets upgraded. But yeah, here we go on the attack. We're 2-0 down to this guy who was playing a 4-3-3-4 three, three, four with a full gold prem team. But he was just running to the byline and he knew what he was doing. He wasn't amazing in terms of skill and passing. He just was playing basic FIFA and it was pretty effective once or well, when I started playing against him. But then we get a goal back there with, I think it was Park Ji Sung. And we go on the attack again with Mr. Park Ji Sung. He plays it inside to Banaka. And this is what I talk about when I'm talking about you can pass it back if you want. You can just play it around. You can do what you want. Park Ji Sung getting into space, whips it back post. Dan Juma, and at this one, I was like, get that in the back of your neck. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. We needed that. And at half time, have more XG than this guy, but six less shots. So he was just, I don't even know what he was doing at this point. But yeah, we win the ball in the midfield there with Tonali, plays it into Park Ji Sung, plays it into Muriel, back to Dan Juma. Dan Juma 
Mm, couldn't really get away from him. Actually, I think we brought on Becker again at half time because here goes Dan Juma, cuts inside, goes, runs to the byline, cuts it back, and we take the lead with that man, Becker. The go, the absolute go, Becker gets another goal off the bench. And we're going to go on another attack here. Muriel into Becker. Becker, you'll just watch him go. Look at him. The pace, the strength. It's nuts. But eventually, though, he falls short to Sergio Ramos, which is understandable because he is brilliant. So, yeah, just unfortunate. But then we win the ball height with Tonali. Tonali, he plays it inside to Becker, takes the touch away from Ramos and fires it near post. And we hit the gritty because now we are two goals up with 15 minutes left. I honestly thought he was going to rage quit here. But as you will see, he does not decide to rage quit. So it looks like we're going to have to put him down, boys. Bazaware into him, into Dan Juma, into Becker. Becker looking for that run of Dan Juma, plays it to Muriel, who plays it to Dan Juma. Dan Juma fires it into the top corner. And we, we were going to hit another gritty, but we end up winning 5-2 as the guy decides to rage quit. And there you go. We get another, we get our eight wins this week. And then we did play another game with Cahill. We got a win in that game with laggy gameplay and a broken controller. But we won the game. Cahill got a goal on us. So I think we won it like 4-5-2 in the end. I think we got a rage quit. So at the end of the day, I'll take the win. At least we won it and we didn't lose our streak at the minute of that we're on. We're on like 8, 9, 10 games unbeaten. Might be pushing 12. But yeah. My aim is to try to get to Div 5 within the next few weeks. But yeah, we are hopefully going to have champs this weekend as well. Not obviously. Obviously, I can't stream champs. So I might end up just playing it like I used to at Tots last year. as like a full Friday evening game session. Just play all 20 games. Or I play 10 on Friday, 10 on Saturday. Something like that. It just depends how I feel. As long as I qualify for foot champs, I know that I can get at least 4, 5, 6 wins. So, at the end of the day, if I get at least six wins, I'll be happy. I'd love nine. I'd love 11 for the Team of the Week pack. So, and we'll just play foot champs and see how we do. But, yeah, this is how the team's looking. We're only going to focus on the attackers. Benak has got no goals and five assists. Tanali's got one goal, one assist. Jisung Park, seven and nine. Dan Juma, third. Okay, squad battles there. Sorry. Depay, three and three. Dan Ju uh, Muriel, five and three. And then when you look on the reserves... Hazard there still. We brought him on in a few games where he didn't score. So we lost his 9, 12 and 7 record from the start of FIFA. When the gameplay was actually good, may I add. We end up binning off Marquinhos. And we end up also binning off Komen. And I wasn't too upset about Komen because, look, we didn't even use him anyway. So it was like, oh well. But then Becker. Three games, three goals. Fantastic. Very good off the bench. I would highly recommend him. And once we get Insigne on the bench... And once we get Arnautovic, Posh, stuff like that, we can have other players chilling on the bench with them. So, I expect things to change. Obviously, I won't be putting Posh or Arnautovic until after the weekend league. So, yeah. But then we had a hero pack and an icon pack from some rule breakers tryout objectives. We got four lanners to hero. Might try him out at some point. Obviously, we'll try him out in um, friendlies with icon swaps. And then from the icon one, we get Rivaldo, who's okay. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was hoping that my hero pack would have been good, but we ended up getting Cahill. But at the end of the day, not terrible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Go check out my Twitch and subscribe.